Hey everyone, welcome back to the War Room, and today in the Armory, I'm going to show you a game partially. There's just too much to set up here to show you for a quick video, so uh, I am just going to go over this really briefly, and that is Merchants and Marauders by Christian Markerson and Casper Agard, Z-Man Games. I think it's out of print, but this is one of the greatest games I have ever played, and I will never get rid of. This is a pirate game that's set up in the Caribbean, Okay. Now, you're going to have one of these little player boards, all right? And you're going to get a random captain. There's several different nationalities of captains. You might get a Spanish captain or a uh, French captain, a Dutch, an English, Span uh, Spanish, Spanish. Did I say Spanish already? I think I did. Uh, and you're going to go around the, the board, and you're going to be looking for missions to complete and rumors to figure out. You know, maybe there's a ghost ship out there, or there's special treasure out there that you haven't seen before. You know, you're going to get different kinds of ship, uh, from sloops to frigates to galleons to man of wars. All right? And this is your damage section right here to mark off your ship. Different ordinances um, on top of your ship to help with battles. Here's your cargo hold. You can hold your cargo. Here, what does cargo look like? Cargo looks like cards like this. Like that's rum, right? Then the cargo goes on here. And if you match cargo and you have several of them, you can sell them to different regions that have different demands. Like, for example, over here, Port Royal has a demand for tobacco. Yeah, look, teach kids all about tobacco. There you go. Um, yeah, this game. Look, look at this. Look at this. Dice with skulls and crossbones on them. And that's significant in the game because skulls and crossbones, which are usually a symbol for death, means success in this game. How cool is that? Throughout the game, you're going to be going all across the Caribbean trying to figure out these missions, these rumors. You're going to be going from port to port. And like I said, this is just one, but this is just strewn with different things that they're looking for. It might be spices. It might be tobacco. It might be um, textiles. It might be, um, who knows, a whole bunch of different things. And if you can match those cargo cards, you can sell it for big money. You start off as a trader. And then you could turn into a pirate. You could stay the whole game as a trader, and that's it. You just go back and forth, making money, trying to avoid pirates. Um, the game will generate pirates, but you can become a pirate yourself. All right, you'll gain bounties, and you'll try to lose bounties. You'll you'll try to hunt bounties, right? And you're doing this for the purposes of getting ten glory points. That's it. That's all. Okay, along the way, you might lose your captain, you might die because of a fight, but that doesn't mean you're out. You get a new captain, and you get to keep going. You lose all your stuff on the ship, but you can keep going. You also have a treasure chest. So if you do die, anything that's in your treasure chest that you put in your home island, one of these islands will be your home, uh, it's safe for your next captain. So uh, there's all kinds of cool little things in this game that you can use to your advantage to become the greatest pirate the world has ever seen. Nations will have wars. If you're a pirate, you know, and you happen to come across the English who you have a bunch of bounties with, but if they're at war with Paris or France, they're not going to be bothering with you, right? Or if you're a trader and you have no bounties on your head whatsoever, you might run into that pirate ship that's going to try and attack you each and every single time. And it's got an AI that moves the ships. Um, there's storms that come through. There's different um, different uh, specialties at every single port. Uh, ports will not only just look for goods, but they also have special customizations for your boat. There's all kinds of things going on with this game. This game usually lasts about three hours, but you don't even think about the three hours because you're having so much fun. Because even when it's in your downtime, you have so much things to do. Like I said, you might be thinking about that mission that you're near, or you might be thinking about that rumor. Ooh, that might there might be that that woman who's cheating on her husband over there in uh, uh, Havana. You know, are we gonna check on that? You know, or or you know, you might be low on on crew members. You need to go into a bar and, and find crew members, right? Um, or you might you're plotting and planning on bringing down that one player who has all the Spanish bounties on him and make money off of it. There's all kinds of things you could be doing in this game, and before you know it. The game is over with. Three hours goes by like nothing happened, and it's phenomenal. This is the greatest game I've ever played, next to Nemesis. Um, I bought Etsy things like here. This is this is you know this little Etsy thing. I put one of the discs in. I glued it in. It's a French flag, right? That represents there's a French uh, trade ship here. You could attack as a 
as a pirate. Um, I bought these little cubes. There's like little cargo cubes for the uh, goods, right? Um, what else did I get for this game? I've hand painted, like I said, I hand painted the ships. I've hand painted the, you know, here's the, the English, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Man of War or whatever, uh, whatever it is. Um, I put a lot of time and energy and love into this game to make it better than what it is. My family loves it. My friends love it. Uh, this is probably the next most played game to Nemesis in my collection. If you've never played uh, Merchants and Marauders, I suggest you try it. There is a expansion for it. I just don't think it's it's necessary. This game is long enough and fun enough to make it just right. It hits that sweet spot of time, energy, and investment into the game. Um, so if you've never played it, I suggest you do. And if you do, I promise you, you'll like it. If, if, if you like pirates, this is the quintessential game of pirates that you'll find. Um, I think this is the most complete because it, it's a sandbox. You could do whatever it is that you want to do. You don't have to be a trader. You don't ever have to be a pirate. Um, you could be a little bit of both. You could do whatever you want. And that's what I love about games like this, where you get to decide how you want to handle it. You don't want to trade at all. You want to just go after missions. You can do that. That gives you glory points. You know, if you want to go after rumors, same thing. Uh, you know, and if you do that, you get glory cards. And glory cards are like the specialty cards. You know, it gives you a special little advantage in battle or extra movement or what have you. So, uh, I hope you try this out. I hope you like it. Put in the comments, what do you think about Merchants Marauders? If you have it, this is one of my favorite games. Take care.